Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to tell you about the SQL order by. Well, the order by is really a sort. And so in this case, I have a select statement, select star from employee table. I'll run that. And I've got 14 rows of employees. Well, I want to sort or order by the employee name. So let's pull up this new clause, order by, and we'll say order by employee name. So I'll execute that. Now you can see employee name is sorted from A to Z, or W in this case. Now what if I want to do a reverse sort? Well, then I put this extra little clause on called descending, D-E-S-C. And it's abbreviate D-E-S-C. And now we're going backward from W to A. Now, why didn't I have to put that clause on to begin with? Well, there is a clause ASC for ascending, but by default, that's what we sort by anyways. So in this case, if I put ascending on there, it sorts from A to Z. If I leave it off, it sorts from A to Z. Now let's do a quick sort by job. And so if I do a sort by job, you see I have multiple analysts multiple clerks, multiple managers, one president, and multiple salesmen. Well, what if I want to sort by job and then by employee name? Well, that's easy enough to do. You just put a comma there, and then you put the next column. So I sort by job, and then employee name. So let's do that. And what we're leaving out here is, again, that ascending, because by default, that's what it does. And so you don't have to put it on there. This will give you the same results. So now if you look at, like, salesmen, Allen, Martin, Turner, Ward are in ascending order. Same thing for all the other groups. So now let's try to get our employee names the other way, in descending. You just change that to descending, execute it, and now if we look at our salesmen, Ward, Turner, Martin, Allen, they're backward. So a couple other things I want to mention about this is instead of using the column names, you can use the column number. So in this case the job column is 3, the third column, and then the employee column is the first column. And it still sorts that way. Oops, except, I'm sorry, the employee name is actually the second column, so let's get that right. There we go. So one last thing to mention. Let's come in here and just grab Say we want the um, job column and the employee name column. But what if we want to sort by the employee number, which is this one here? So let's go down here and say employee number. Okay, so let's execute that. What do you think will happen? We sort it by employee number, but the column isn't there. So that is how you would do that. And let's make sure that that's actually sorted right. So I'll go ahead and bring back employee number this time. And let's see if that's sorted right. Yep, that looks right. So you can order by or sort by a column that is not in your list, as we just showed there. And one final thing, you can even order by a concatenated column. So we can do job, concatenate it with employee name. And let me get my concatenation right. And one more time. And if we want to see what that actual concatenation looks like, then I'll come in here. And I'll add the new column. And that's what the concatenation looks like, and that's what it's actually sorting on. So that's an introduction into the order by clause in the SQL language.